In this lesson, I'm going to show you how we can show the details of this image in a modal pop-up from this listing which we have done so far. To show the modal pop-up, we are going to rely on a very popular framework, CSS framework, which is this and I'm going to use the modal component. So if you see the basic idea behind you know, opening the modal is basically use this markup and it should have an is active class. Okay, so how do we do this? First of all, in here, inside components, I will add a file which is our modal component. Okay, and in that, we'll have our script. and the template and the stack okay so once we have this we will have our style as well the language as a CSS and what I'm gonna do is just paste the content for this SCSS which I have taken out from the CSS file but you can always refer back to my repository and copy it. So I'll come back with the code. All right. So I have the CSS in here, you know, pretty basic stuff, but a lot of CSS code, which we can ready made use it. Anyway, so we have the CSS. Now let's look at the template. So I'll just copy it from there and we'll add that class is active. All right still now we haven't registered our component so let us do that first import the model component bulma.model model from the components folder and then view file and then we are going to use this like so okay so this is done and we need to call that component somewhere right so why don't we do this in here so basically this is the HTML file where we are doing all the listing this is the wrapper and in this ULLI we are showing all the thumbnails so here I will call the component and that should work right come here refresh and we have this component. This is the modal pop-up. And if we, not here, sorry. In here, if we remove this class, hit save, refresh, we don't see the modal component. That's fine. So what are the next steps? I want when I, that when the user clicks on this thumbnail, a pop-up should open and I should see the bigger image and there will be a form where I can put some details about that image like the title, the description, all tags and other things. Fair enough. Um, so at first we need to decide how the model pop-up is going to open. So we have data in the function, we return an object, model uh, we can call this as modal status okay we will keep this as false which means by default our modal will be inactive okay and then I will do vbind class equals modal status if this is true then is active class else nothing okay so with this done and why don't we do one more thing the component will get its content through a slot this is where view you know gives you an option of uh, you know managing your content through different ways so if I click this is the content from the main 
to child now what is going to happen is this part anything inside this directive or the tag is going to come in this slot now we can have named slots we can have multiple but right now we are focusing only on one slot so I can directly use this and the slot will understand that the any markup which is here any content which is here will come inside the modal content okay so I think we are pretty much there the only thing is inside a created method okay we will do window dot event bus dot on okay this is how we are going to listen for an modal pop-up open event and we are going to pass some data and say this dot modal data equals data so let us add that as well in here okay by default it will be null and this dot uh, model status right model status equals true so when this event is fired or emitted rather I know that the status will have to be true so that the model is visible okay and anything else why don't we also keep a property so we'll have a props this is going to be an object model class is going to be one property with type as string I'm going to put some validation on that and if you don't pass anything to it I will do Velma model as the default class okay so we have the props we have the created event we have the data things are looking good and let us see because we have passed this why don't we pass something here as well um, okay something like this and what do we do here let's have a long one media manager details okay should be self-explanatory that's something which I want and one last thing is I would want that class here somewhere right so this is now a single so let us send it multiple so we do the array format this is the first one and the second one will be uh, model class right and all right so this is done why don't we hit refresh and let's see what's happening so on click nothing happened my bad um, we haven't triggered anything on that image so I need to call a function right this is my on v on click okay I'll have a function called handle image details I'll pass the image as well copy this function this is our HTML media manager dot view file okay that's where we need the method right so this is our method in this what we are going to do is let's just say how do we do it so window dot event bus dot emit all right this is where we do the emit uh, we'll copy this one so that there is no spelling mistake and we are going to send the image here which is fine this dot current image okay that is the variable where we will store our image which means we need to define this in our data we we'll do that this is going to be an object and we know the current image will have a few properties for example what will it have it will have image dot directory image dot file name and image dot extension so I need to define them I don't know before I use it otherwise I'll have the error from view.js Oops. so this is an empty string file name is going to be an empty string again an extension is going to be another empty string again alright so this is done 
we are calling this function on click of the images right yeah so this should work on click hmm. okay content is coming but we are not displaying the image that's fine and if we click outside this and this the model should close so let's quickly handle that it's a small thing um, I can directly add that here right so why don't we do v on click equals what model status equals false copy this this is the close button right and we need to do that for the background as well so hit refresh open the model close on the black area it closes it ah, the square button is coming as plus I think there's some conflict with my CSS file I'll have to look into that anyways not a major thing so now we need to show the image right where is the image the image will come here okay so we have the entire data of our image in current image right so that's how you know uh, when we have so how how does it work if you, you know, quickly if we go through it i have a list of images on click of any image this is getting called okay and i'm passing the image object now that method what it is doing is it is filing an event it this is the event bus and i'm filing an event through this event and so what is happening is my view model or rather the Bulma model component it is listening to that particular event it is saying oh okay so i was called so why don't we pass the data here and set that modal status equals to which means now it is visible and always we have this v on click on the background and the close button to close that model pop up all right i hope that is clear and it makes sense uh, now so we need to show the image right that's what we are supposed to do so in here we have this slot we will have a row inside that we will have column of eight and then one for four in here i will write details for now i'm not going to do anything on that and in here we need to show the image so div big image is the class in this i have an image uh, why don't we copy this tag here paste it here okay um, current image so current image dot directory current image file name extension and we don't need the emitter all right i think that is good enough to show the image at least all right yeah we are able to see the image right now i have done a very basic uh, level of css uh, my css skills are pretty limited but yeah i'll show you what i have done at the end which you can see in the source code as well let me quickly copy paste and show you present so yeah this is what i have done the model content width is 80 percent and then i have set a max width for that image and i think it looks no, it is not looking how I intended it to be. Or is it? Something is not right. So I have model content, which is fine. Is it scoped? Yes, it is scoped. So that's why it's the problem. I think now it should come. Yeah. So this is how the full image will be visible here you will have the details form we will be able to set the title and everything which we are going to handle in the next you know uh, videos in the series but yeah so we have a full view of the image right now and yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel